Bob Rotruck here from the Glens Falls Civic Center, your Phantoms weekend preview. Adirondack Phantoms Friday night against the Hartford Wolfpack, Saturday night against the Utica Comets, and the team needs goals. They have lost back-to-back -back games by one to nothing scores. They had never had a one to nothing game in the Glens Falls Civic Center before, and now the Adirondack Phantoms have had them back-to-back, -back, and it has been very frustrating for this offense, so time to get it turned around. As for tonight's game against the Hartford Wolfpack, the AHL affiliates of the New York Rangers, game three out of ten between these two divisional rivals this year. That's the most times the Phantoms have ever played a Rangers affiliate in a single season. Welcome back to Danny Sivret, longtime Phantom, who was traded this past summer to the Rangers organization in exchange for Chris Newberry. Also welcome back to a couple of former Phantoms and Flyers. One of those guys, 35-year-old feisty veteran Aaron Asham. Yes, that Aaron Asham of 800 penalty minutes, 800 games rather, and 1,200 penalty minutes in the National Hockey League. His first stint in the American Hockey League since 2001, and he's actually been to the Glens Falls Civic Center before. It was New Year's Eve 1988 with the Fredericton Canadiens, the affiliates of Montreal at the time, and a 4-4 to -4 tie against the Adirondack Red Wings. So 15 years ago, Aaron Asham had actually played in this building before, and now as a 35-year-old veteran, he comes back with Hartford. Also, Daryl Powell, who had played almost 100 games with the Philadelphia Phantoms, mostly in 07. 08, but also parts of a couple other seasons and over 200 games with the uh, Philadelphia Flyers as well as Minnesota and the New York Rangers. Powell has been sent down to the Rangers organization. Adirondack trying to get goals. They enter this game now back under 500. They win two. They drop two. They're hovering around that 500 mark and trying to put together another nice win streak again. Adirondack is 9-10-2 overall. Hartford Wolfpack are also 9-10-2, so they are dead even in the division standings as well as in the conference standings. It's a pretty important game, I think, for both teams. Hartford has been struggling, especially with the loss of goaltender Cameron Talbot to the New York Rangers, where he has been doing especially well. $2 beer specials. Pre-game happy hour, 5.30 to 7 for every Friday home game. Also, the pre-game buffet down in Heritage Hall, $12 all you can eat every Friday and Saturday home game. And then Saturday night's game against the Utica Comets. That's our teddy bear toss. Bring your donation. Uh, new or slightly used stuffed animal, you get to throw it onto the ice after the Phantoms score their first goal. All the... Uh, donation uh, animals will go to benefit the Greater Glens Falls Salvation Army. It's really all for a great cause and it's a lot of fun. It's going to be raiding teddy bears inside the Glens Falls Civic Center before Saturday's game. Also, Phantoms Poster Night for the first 2,000 fans presented by Glens Falls Printing and a post-game team autograph session after Heritage Hall. That's featuring all the players. That all happens on Saturday for the first AHL game in 20 years between teams from Adirondack and Utica. February of 1993, the Adirondack Red Wings and the Utica Devils last squared off, and now these Empire State rivals to do battle again on Saturday night. So Friday against Hartford, Saturday against Utica. Get your tickets ahead of time, and when you do that, you save 518-480-3355. Broadcast both nights begins at 630 on Q101.7.